Welcome friends to a new session on molecular biology. In this session, we will discuss various forms of RNA polymerase and cofactors. RNA polymerase, the enzyme essential to life, part 2. Let us first see about cofactors. Each RNA polymerase is believed generally to have its own set of transcription factors. A number of transcription factors are also involved in the formation of a transcription complex needed for initiation of transcription. Transcription factors are proteins involved in the process of converting DNA to RNA. The common feature of this transcription, however, involves binding of a number of transcription factors to DNA sequences upstream of start point. The number of transcription factors associated with the initiation process increases as the variety of genes transcribed by the polymerase increases. These transcription factors help in DNA binding of an RNA polymerase to constitute what is described as transcription complex. After the formation of this complex, initiation of transcription occurs. All known transcription factors may not necessarily recognize DNA sequences in initiation of transcription. Transcription factors include a wide number of proteins that initiate and regulate the transcription of genes. Indeed, these transcription factors must bind to a promoter region in DNA and form an appropriate initiation complex before RNA polymerase will bind and initiate transcription. Different promoters and transcription factors are utilized by the eukaryotic RNA polymerases. The formation of locally unwound segment of DNA required to initiate transcription involves the interaction of several transcription factors with specific cis acting sequences in the promoter of transcription unit. An important class of transcription factors in eukaryotes is GTFs that is general transcription factors and they are necessary for transcription to occur. Many of these GTFs are part of the large transcription pre-initiation complex in short called as PIC, P -I -C, that interacts with the RNA polymerase directly but do not actually bind DNA. The most common GTFs are transcription factor 2A, TF2B, TF2D, TF2E, TF2F and TF2H. The PIC binds to promoter regions of DNA upstream to the gene that they regulate. Now let us see about transcription factor 2A in short called as TF2A. It is one of the several GTFs essential for all transcription events that use RNA polymerase 2. It is a nuclear protein involved in the RNA polymerase 2 dependent transcription of DNA. TF2A is encoded by two separate genes. One of the genes, GTF2A1, encodes a large subunit consisting of TF2 alpha beta, TF2 AL and TOA1 and another gene GTF2 A2 which encodes a small subunit consisting of TF2 Y, TF2 AS and TOA2. The molecular weight of these two proteins varies in eukaryotes. For instance, in humans the size of the encoded proteins is approximately 55 kd and 12 kd. Both the genes are present in species ranging from yeast to humans and their protein products interact to form 
a complex composed of a beta barrel domain and an alpha helical bundle domain. It is the N terminal and C terminal regions of the large subunit that take part in interactions with the small subunit. The large subunit is often observed to be proteolytically processed into two smaller subunits alpha and beta of approximately 35 kd and 19 kd. The sequence length of TF2 A subunit 1 and subunit 2 are 109 and 376 amino acids respectively. The second gene encoding a large TF2A subunit has been found in some higher eukaryotes. This gene GTF2A1LF is expressed only in spermatocyte and oocyte suggesting it has a TF2A like regulatory role for gene expression only in germ cells. TF2A interacts with the TBP subunit of TF2D and aids in the binding of TBP that is Tata binding protein to Tata box containing promoter DNA. Interaction of TF2A with TBP facilitates formation of the pre-initiation complex and stabilizes it. This interaction also results in the exclusion of repressive factors that might otherwise bind to TBP and interfere with PIC formation. TF2A also acts as a co-activator for some transcriptional activators assisting with their ability to activate or increase transcription. Now, let us look into transcription factor 2B. TF2B is a general transcription factor encoded by TF2B gene and located in the nucleus. TF2B is involved in the formation of RNA polymerase 2 PIC by binding and stabilizing the DNA TBP complex and by recruiting RNA polymerase 2 and other transcription factors. TF2B is a single polypeptide of 33 KDA consisting of 316 amino acids. It is essential at all promoters in order to recruit RNA polymerase 2 and initiate transcription. Recent research has shown that transcription levels are not significantly affected by depletion in TF2B and is not lethal to cells. This is because about 90 percent of mammalian promoters do not contain a Tata box sequence or B recognition element that is BRE which is required for TF2B to bind. TF2B is made up of four functional domains the C terminal core domain, B linker, B reader and amino terminal sing ribbon. The C terminal core which is protease resistant stabilizes the DNA TBP complex by interacting with the nonspecific sequences on either side of the Tata box called the upstream and downstream B recognition elements that is BREU and BRED. The core domain consists of two alpha helical structures that form nearly identical domains connected by a short linger region and rotated by 90 degree between each other. Each of the domains has five alpha helices with a hydrophobic core. The C domain consists of another short alpha helix and a random coil. The B reader is formed of alpha helix and mobile loop that is thought to facilitate in the identification of the transcription start site. Amino terminal sing ribbon is involved in the recruitment of RNA polymerase 2. The sing ion is coordinated by cysteine and histidine residues 
arranged in beta sheets. Now, let us see about T f 2 b domains required for interaction with T f 2 d Tata complex. T f 2 b has two fundamental activities, one is formation of T f 2 d T f 2 b Tata complex also called D b DNA complex and second one base cell transcription. In the year 1993, deletion mutants of T f 2 b were used to identify the domains responsible for the above two activities. Following two domains were identified for specific functional roles. One, the C terminal domain containing two direct repeats and two basic residue repeats is necessary and sufficient for interaction with T f 2 D Tata complex also called D DNA complex. In the absence of T f 2 D, T f 2 B will not bind DNA suggesting that an interaction between T f 2 B and T f 2 D takes place. Second, an extra 84 residue and terminal region which is not needed for the formation of DB complex is required for base cell transcriptional activity. So, that in the absence of this region despite the formation of DB complex transcription was greatly reduced or completely stopped. These two domains consist of 947 residues of the 130 KDA and 801 residues of the 100 KDA subunit respectively. This region may therefore, be involved in the recruitment of RNA polymerase 2 to the complex. It has been shown that in T f 2 B and T f 2 D similar structural domains are present for protein DNA interactions. These similarities include C terminal direct repeats, basic residue repeats and sigma homologies. It has also been shown that an acidic activator is also needed for the basal transcription activity of T f 2 b. A mutant form of T f 2 b which is unable to interact with acidic activator could not support transcription. This suggests that T f 2 d and T f 2 b in the absence of an acidic activator assemble to form only a non productive D b complex, but form a productive D b complex only in the presence of this acidic activator which transactivates the initiation complex. Now, let us look into transcription factor 2 d that is T f 2 d. Of the earlier mentioned transcription factors, T f 2 d is the most important and has become available in purified form as a multi protein complex with a molecular weight of 38 kDa. A subunit of T f 2 d is T b p which is actually required by all the three eukaryotic RNA polymerases even for promoters lacking a Tata box. However, there are other TBP associated factors also called as TAFs which differ in different RNA polymerases. Therefore, it is suggested that each of the three RNA polymerases requires an essential transcription factor which is a complex containing TBP and TAFs the composition of TAFs differing in the three cases. Another abundant complex is B T f 2 D which is involved in transcription by RNA polymerase 1 or RNA polymerase 3. B T f 2 D contains T B P and T A F and can perform the T B P function of T f 2 D. The T B P T A F arrangement is dynamic and TAFs can be displaced from T 
TBP to accommodate contacts by other transcription factors and activators. Binding of TF2D at the Tata box also leads to bending of DNA. This bending perhaps facilitates contact between regulatory factors bound at upstream sites and one or more components of the general transcriptional machinery as shown in this figure. This DNA bending due to TF2D can also be compared with the CAP induced DNA bending described for prokaryotic promoters. RNA polymerase 2 holoenzyme consists of RNA polymerase 2, a subset of general transcription factors and regulatory proteins known as SRB proteins. Before transcription starts, the TF2D complex binds to the Tata box in the core promoter of the gene. It coordinates the activities of more than 70 polypeptides essential for initiation of transcription by RNA polymerase 2. The major functions of TF2D are 1 binding to the core promoter to position the polymerase properly, 2 serves as the scaffold for assembly of the remainder of the transcription complex and 3 acts as a channel for regulatory signals. TF2D is itself composed of several subunits called TAFs with molecular weight ranging from 250 kDa to 15 kDa. The subunits are detailed in the table. The subunit TBP that is Tata binding protein is a general transcription factor that binds specifically to a DNA sequence called the Tata box. The subunit TAF1 which is TF2D subunit 1 affects the rate of transcription initiation. The subunit TAF2 which is TF2D subunit 2 affects the rate of transcription initiation. Subunit TAF3 which is TF2D subunit 3 affects the rate of transcription initiation. TAF4 subunit otherwise TF2D subunit 4 participates in base cell transcription serves as co-activators and promoter recognition or modify GTFs to facilitate complex assembly. TAF4B that is TF2D subunit 4B is involved in the initiation of G transcription by RNA polymerase 2. The subunit TAF5 otherwise TF2D subunit 5 participates in base cell transcription serves as co-activators and promoter recognition or modify GTFs to facilitate complex assembly. The next subunit TAF6 otherwise TF2D subunit 6 participates in basal transcription serves as co-activators and promoter recognition or modify GTFs to facilitate complex assembly. The subunit TAF7 otherwise TF2D subunit 7 is required for transcription by promoters targeted by RNA polymerase 2. The next subunit TAF8 otherwise TF2D subunit 8 interacts with several subunits of TF2D including TBP and the histone fold protein TAF10. The subunit TAF9 also known as TAF23132 binds to the core promoter to position the polymerase properly serves as the scaffold for assembly of the remainder of the transcription complex 
and acts as a channel for regulatory signals. The next subunit TAF 9B, otherwise TF 2D subunit 9B binds to the core promoter to position the polymerase properly, serves as the scaffold for assembly of the remainder of the transcription complex and acts as a channel for regulatory signals. The subunit TAF 10, otherwise TF 2D subunit 10 serves as co-actuators and promoter recognition or modifies GTFs to facilitate complex assembly. TAF 11, otherwise TF 2D subunit 11 binds to the core promoter to position the polymerase properly, serves as a scaffold for assembly of the remainder of the transcription complex and acts as a channel for regulatory signals. TAF 12, otherwise TF 2D subunit 12 interacts directly with the TBP as well as with the TAF 21. TAF 13, otherwise called TF 2D subunit 13 interacts with the TBP and with the two other small subunits of 2F 2D, TAF 10 and TAF 11. The next subunit TAF 15, otherwise TF 2D subunit 15 participates in base cell transcription, serve as co-activators and promoter recognition or modify GTFs to facilitate complex assembly. Transcription factor 2E that is TF2E is one of several GTFs that make up the RNA polymerase 2 pre-initiation complex. TF2E is encoded by GTF2E1 and GTF2E2 genes. 2F2E is thought to be involved in DNA melting at the promoter. It contains a sing ribbon motif that can bind a single stranded DNA. Transcription factor 2F that is TF2F. Transcription factor 2F is one of several GTFs that make up the RNA polymerase 2 pre-initiation complex. It is encoded by the GTF2F1, GTF2F2 and GTF2F2L genes. TF2F binds to RNA polymerase 2 when the enzyme is already unbound to any other transcription factor, thus avoiding it from contacting DNA outside the promoter. Furthermore, TF2F stabilizes the RNA polymerase 2 while it is in contact with TBP and TF2B. Next is transcription factor 2H. It is one of the several GTFs that make up the RNA polymerase 2 pre-initiation complex with a molecular weight of 35 to 89 kilo Dalton. TF2H consists of 10 subunits, 7 of which XPD, XPB, P62, P52, P44, P34 and TTDA form the core complex. The cyclin activating kinase subcomplex that is MAT1, CDK7 and cyclin H is linked to the core via the XPD protein. Two of the subunits ERCC2 XPD and ERCC3 XPB have helicase and ATPase activities and help to create the transcription bubble. Two other TF2H subunits that is CDK7 and cyclin H phosphorylate serine amino acids on the RNA polymerase 2 C terminal domain and possibly other proteins involved in the cell cycle. Next to a vital function in transcription initiation, TF2H is also involved in nucleotide excision repair. It is responsible for giving the GO signal which is why it is assembled last. Let us see about formation of pre-initiation that is transcription complex 
with RNA polymerase 2 in short called as Paul 2. The promoter sequence responsible for constitutive expression of common genes also called housekeeping genes in all cells is called generic promoter which cannot bring about regulated expression either tissue or stimulus specific. Initiation of transcription on this generic promoter by RNA polymerase 2 requires the action of several transcription factors variously designated in humans, rat and yeast and it is elaborated in the table. In the figure displayed on the screen you can see the defined order. One, TF2D binds at the Tata box which permits two, the association of TF2A and TF2B. Three, only after binding of TF2B forming the so called DB complex, RNA polymerase associates to promoter site. Four, RNA polymerase is escorted to the promoter by TF2F to form a transcription complex. Five, orderly addition of TF2E, TF2H and TF2J helps in the initiation. The requirement of TF2A and TF2E has not been found universal. The function of TF2A can be performed by TF2G or TF2I, the two factors which were discovered in 1990s. TF2E on the other hand though needed for adenovirus, ADML, H2B and H4 promoters has not been found essential for immunoglobulin heavy chain gene that is IGH promoter. Besides the above transcription factors, hundreds of other transcription factors have been discovered which are needed for tissue or stimulus specific transcription. Now, let us see about formation of pre initiation complex with pole 1 and pole 3. For the initiation of transcription at genes transcribed by RNA polymerase 1 and 3, only one transcription factor each that is T1F1 and TF3B respectively bound upstream is needed for directing the RNA polymerase enzyme to its binding site that is promoter. However, assembly factors may be needed for mediating the binding of transcription initiation factor. Therefore, following two types of transacting protein factors are needed for initiation by pole 1 and pole 3. 1 assembly factors and 2 initiation factors. For RNA polymerase 1 the need for assembly factor that is UBF is not obligatory but is species dependent. However, in Sinopus levis for RNA polymerase 3 two assembly factors TF3A and TF3C in case of fibrous RNA genes and one assembly factor TF3C four tRNA genes are needed to mediate the binding of transcription initiation factor TF3B. These assembly factors can be removed after binding of the initiation factor without any effect on subsequent transcription. Role of initiation and assembly factors for pole 1 and pole 3 is shown in this figure. Here the use of transcription assembly factors represented by hatched and transcription initiation factors represented by solid black is for binding of RNA polymerase 1 and RNA polymerase 3. Now, let us summarize the following discussions on cofactors. A number of transcription factors are also involved in the formation of a transcription complex needed for initiation of transcription. 
These are proteins involved in the process of converting DNA to RNA. These transcription factors help in DNA binding of an RNA polymerase to constitute what is described as transcription complex. An important class of transcription factors in eukaryotes is GTFs, general transcription factors and are necessary for transcription to occur. Many of these GTFs are part of the large transcription pre-initiation complex that interacts with RNA polymerase directly but do not actually bind DNA. The most common GTFs are TF2A, TF2B, TF2D, TF2E, TF2F and TF2H. The PIC binds to promoter regions of DNA upstream to the gene that they regulate. Transcriptional initiation is regulated by a combination of factors including DNA sequence, proteins and small molecules. Distinct sigma factors compete with four binding to a common pool of RNA polymerases in the transcription initiation. I am giving you certain assignments based on the discussions what we had. One, what is transcription factor? How many transcription factors are there in eukaryotes? Two, how does transcription factors regulate the gene expression? Three, how to identify a transcription factor bind to a specific DNA? Four, what are general transcription factors? Five, what is transcription complex? I am also giving you certain references for your further reading. First one, the book with the title Biochemistry, 5th edition, authored by Berg, Timsko, Stryer in the year 2008, published by Freeman and Company, New York, USA. A second book is with the title, Cell Biology, authored by Carp in the year 2014. It is the 7th edition and published by John Willey and Son, Singapore. A third book is with the title, Molecular Biology of the Cell. 5th edition, authored by Alberts, Johnson, Lewis, Raff, Roberts and Walter in the year 2007, published by Garland Science, New York and London. Another book is with the title, Gene 9, authored by Levin in the year 2007, published by Johns and Barlett Publishers, Sudbury, Massachusetts. Yet another book is with the title Biochemistry, authored by Davidson and Sitman in the year 1997, published by Waverly, New Delhi. Yet another book is with the title Principles of Genetics, authored by Gardner and Nestor in the year 1984, published by John Willey, New York. One more book is with the title Principles of Genetics, authored by Sinnett, Dunn and Dobosinski in the year 1958 published by Megro Hill, New York. I am also giving you certain websites for a further reference. First one is www.bioencyclopedia.org. Second one is www.oxfordgenetics.com. With this, we have come to the end of this session. We will meet in another session with a new topic. Until then, bye.